Hello, soldier. My name is Lieutenant Gary Aswalt, and it is my honor to announce that finally, after 10 long years, they have remade the greatest Call of Duty map in existence, Rust. Because we don't like to talk about that other one from a couple years ago. Rust is back, and it's exactly how you'd remember it. Except much like how your aunts used to react to not seeing you in like three weeks, taller, somehow. The general layout of the map is one literal sandbox to play around in with a giant sand castle in the middle that you will spend half your time trying to climb to the top of, the other half being killed by people who were lucky enough to get up there first and leave tacks, and the other other half trying to get a 360 no scope to show your fellow nerds at the lunch table the next day. Thankfully, if you would like to partake in this lethal game of King of the Hill, there's plenty of different ways to get to the top. There's the ramp, in case you've had too much of this life and just want to end it all. The small ladder, which will get you about halfway there, only for you to trip on a bouncing Betty. You could run along the pipes if you're not that bad at parkour, or you can take the tall ladder all the way up to the penthouse, only to get killed by that guy's other bouncing Betty. Much like Crash, Shipman, and Vacant, Infinity Ward just wasn't comfortable porting Rust over without completely unnecessary changes. And these take the award for most unnecessary, just beating out my own self-authored biography titled License to Gary, an autobiography about the greatest armed tour guide this side of the Mississippi. You see, they took this tank and decided to put a platform on top of it, uh, but that's not all. Remember this corner of the map? Well, it's basically the same, but now you can crawl through here in case, I don't know, it's bring your preemie child to work day or something. Rust is the largest map in the super duper teeny tiny baby 6v6 maps that really should be 1v1. I mean, it's literally in the meme map category, which you think should mean that they would fix their spawns, right? Wrong. Of course they're not gonna fix their spawns. That's like asking Merriam-Webster to stop putting dumb slang in their books just for clout. That's like going to an AA meeting and asking for batteries. That's like creating a successful modern day shooter and then shoehorning Battle Royale into it like it's 2017 again. Oh wait, what, they, they did that? Huh. Well, uh, join us next time, I guess for a tour of that. Uh, but in the meantime, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to exit through the gift shop for all your iron oxide needs.